I was reading this article written by a man who um, he got a divorce and he just put a list of things that he wish he had done for his wife I mean they were they were some really nice things and most of the most of the um, comments under it was basically just people that seemed upset they didn't really like it Talking about, oh, he gave up his manhood, blah, blah, blah. No wonder he got divorced. All this other stuff. It was just negative stuff. And I can understand why these people are going through the trouble that they are in their relationships. It's because of their negative mindset. When you have a negative mindset, you're going to be attracting people with the negative mindset. And what what can you really get out of a relationship other than trouble if you come at it with the negative with a negative thought process? It's impossible to have a good relationship with a negative thought process. I mean, you know, you might be attracted to you to it, you might love being in it, but you're gonna have problems, you're gonna go through all the crap. It's just extra I mean I mean any relationship is hard but when you have a negative mindset you're gonna be going through all this extra that you really don't need to go through but the main thing I wanted to address was this guy made this comment about nice guys finishing last and basically when it comes to females you have to act like you don't care you have to treat them like crap whatever like that that's really not the truth see it's it's all in the way that you think and yeah you will see a lot of them that like to get treated like crap and they, they will chase after the guy that treats them like they have no worth but they don't know their own worth and they don't even have their mind right let's be honest let's be honest the females that you have to treat like crap to be with, what can they do? What can they do? They're the females that almost every guy calls them out their name. Half of them don't have a brain in their head. They're not that intelligent. I mean, to be honest, I mean, is any woman who wants to be treated like crap intelligent? I'm just saying. A lot of people might be mad when they hear this, but you know what? I'm gonna be real. You stupid. You dumbass. I mean, for real, you can't. You can't really be that intelligent to be wanting to be treated like crap. I don't see any intellect in that. You're dumb. So <laughs> I'm just being real with you. Now, I. Honestly, what what can they do other than other than maybe give you sex? They get on your nerves all the time, give you a headache. Sex might be good, it might suck. I don't know, but all they can do is give you sex, and eventually you get tired of that, and you're ready to just throw them to the curb. Probably gonna cheat on them. I mean, you get absolutely nothing out of them. You'll never be satisfied. They're like vampires. They suck the life out of you. You're losing your soul. You don't get nothing out of it. Why do you want that? Now, if you come at it with that mentality that they all want to get treated like crap, then guess what? The one who wants to be treated well, she's not going to sit there and let you treat it like crap and then be like, oh, I don't want to be treated like crap. And then you're like, oh, I didn't know you're different from the rest of them. So let me treat you good now. No. What's going to happen is she's going to look at you from a distance She's going to see that you treat women like crap, and she's not going to want anything to do with you. She's not even going to want to be your friend. She's going to avoid you. She's probably one of those women who you tried to holler at, and she rejected you, and you just called out her name. You said she's rude, she's stuck up, blah, 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 and in actuality, she wasn't being rude. She wasn't being stuck up. She wasn't being that B word. It was the fact that she could sense that you had the mentality that you have to treat women like crap in order for them to be interested in you and she refused to be treated like crap that's the plain and simple thing 
So what you have to think about is it's not that nice guys finish legs. It's that when you have that nice guy mentality, those type of women who aren't worth going after, who treat you like crap, who likes the guys who treat them like crap, who don't respect themselves, don't love themselves, who will give you a headache and get on your nerves all day long, you won't do anything for you, will be selfish, will not be attracted to you. They won't be attracted to you at all. So the problem is that you had that nice guy mentality and you were going after the wrong women. So the problem comes with you. It's not with, it's not with the women. If you don't want that type of woman, get a different type of woman. I mean, you morons can't put two and two together. I mean, come on. Come on. They're not even worth it. You get nothing out of it. That's like complaining that something costs $100 more, but the thing that costs $100 less is better. But you're complaining. But it, oh, this costs $100 more. I can't afford this. But I can afford the thing that costs $100 less. The thing that costs $100 less is better quality. Everything's better about it. It actually works. The thing that costs $100 more doesn't work. How much sense does that make? To be going, trying to save up your money to get the thing that costs a hundred dollars more. I don't do nothing for you. Exactly. Not to say, not to say that women that respect themselves are worth less. But just to put it in a way so that you understand why I'm looking at you and I'm like, you're stupid. Just so you understand it because, I mean, women that do respect and love themselves and see themselves as queens and want to be treated well. They're worth infinitely more. Than a woman that doesn't respect herself and wants to be treated like crap. And yes, I hope that a woman that loves being treated like crap sees this. So you can see, you're not worth nothing. And you know what? I'm not. I mean, I don't care if feminists see this and get mad. I don't care who sees this. I don't care all you people are like, oh, this is what the man's about. And oh, you do this, that for women. No, no. I'm not that type of person, and I will be real with you. I'm the type of person. I only want to save the people that want to be saved. I only want to help the people that want to be helped. I only want to be there for the people who want somebody there for them. But anybody else, if you're going to suffer, that's your problem. I will watch you suffer, and I will not care. Because I only care about the people who care about themselves and want better for themselves. I don't have time to be wasting on anybody who wants to be nothing. For the rest of their lives. And the fact that I got pneumonia has just really changed my view on the things. Like, I'm not wasting my time trying to save everybody. I'm not doing it. I'm not being there for everybody. I'm not going to be all sweet and loving and cuddle you and water things down and hug you like a baby. You're grown. You're grown men. You're grown women. You're going to be treated like that. Not, you're not getting none of that sweet stuff from me. You're going to own up, you're going to mature up, you're going to handle your business, and you're going to take responsibility for everything you do. No more blaming somebody else saying, oh, they, they weren't in somebody's life, this person did this, this person did that. Everything in your life is your fault. So just something for you to remember the next time any of y'all want to sit there talking about, oh, men do this, women do that, it's your fault. It's the mentality that you have. You got a problem with it? Change your mentality. And change the people that you around. And stop trying to be all nice and keep people around because they're your friends and you want them there. No. If anybody is not handling their business and being who they need to be, you cut them off. I don't care what type of past you have about them. I don't care how much, how deep your feelings are for them, whatever. If they are not being what you need in your life, you cut them off. Friends, family, whoever. They get cut off. 